We're Alex and Marco the Vaca Brothers, and this series is about new Nordic cuisine. We'll be traveling across three Nordic capitals, exploring the culinary revolution that's turned this region into one of the most dynamic food destinations on Earth. Along the way, we'll be meeting locals, nice meeting you guys. eating, drinking, and having a great time. Hope you're hungry. In episode five, we're discovering Finland's capital, Helsinki, and experiencing a classic summer tradition. guys how's everybody doing hope you guys are doing well we just arrived in Helsinki Finland after an amazing what are you eating dude I'm eating Finnish licorice dude because we're in Finland now Can you keep it down I'm trying to vlog here anyways uh, we had an amazing morning going through the archipelago and uh, we've just gotten off the boat checked into our hotel and we have an amazing couple of days planned for us what's up what's first on the list okay so we're here because of the flow festival and we're staying in a hotel right next to the three day long flow festival but first we're doing some food stuff. We're gonna have lunch at a Michelin starred restaurant. We're going on a food tour. And then tonight we're going to a crayfish party. So it's gonna be fun. Back on the coffee. We got a lot to do today, so I need my energy. And guys, this is Elizabeth. Hello. She's awesome. She's responsible for putting together this amazing trip. So she's yeah. gonna be hanging out with us for the next couple of days and showing us all the great places in Helsinki. Guys, seriously, this has to be one of my favorite cities in Europe. It's so awesome. It's got so many different influences and it really feels like a place where East meets West. It's definitely one of the more quirky of the Nordic capitals and I think a lot of that is what you said because uh, Finland has been part of Sweden for a while. It was then taken by Russia. And Helsinki is the capital that reflects that. You can see that in the architecture, the food, and the style. Because it is really kind of like halfway between Stockholm and St. Petersburg. Yeah, right? exactly, exactly. And you know, that's all reflected in a lot of elements of the city. So it's what makes it more unique, I think, than some of the places in Scandinavia. And so we're going to go check it out. And we're starting at Olo, which is a Michelin-starred restaurant right on the waterfront. <laughs> This is my first Michelin starred restaurant I've ever been to, so yeah, it's gonna I'm be ready nice. to feast. Let's do it. Right now we're meeting Heidi and Heather and their food bloggers in Helsinki. Hello. Hey. Hi Heidi. Heather. How's nice it going? To meet you. Hi Marco. Yes. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Heather and I'm going to take you to some of the best places and some of the unknown places in Helsinki where you can try real Finnish food. Okay, so we are back in the Tori Kortelet, which is the market quarter or Tori, Tori quarter, and that's where Olu is. It's right on the seafront. It's a beautiful day. I'm ready for lunch. Michelin star restaurant is not something we usually do, but the white linen and um, some good food coming our way. So, Heidi, how did you uh, get involved in vlogging? Uh, basically, I've always loved cooking. I ended up creating a vlog so that I can, like, you know, have all my recipes there. Time went by. I realized that um, also other people, and my mother is actually reading it. So then I really, really got sort of into it. Finger food to start. Oh, like what was like traditional 
finished cuisine and how are you guys trying to reinterpret it now? I think the best way to do it is just uh, rely on your memories. Maybe back home or what you've been eating when you were a child. And the uh, country is quite uh, young. We have to take influence uh, like uh, all over the world. I think it's uh, much more easy uh, because you don't have any boundaries. Basically, you can do whatever you want. With just a little taste. An appetizer. An appetizer. Now, now we're going over to a, a brewery, which is a great thing to be doing at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Gotta love it. So we're going to try some Finnish beer and, and I think some sausages too. What you stab? Briggery. Have some beer. What you stab in there, bro? What am I snapping? Guys, you should totally follow us on Snapchat if you don't. Because then you don't have to wait for the vlog to come out. Every time you go to a new brewery, at least for me, I have to try the IPA because if they do the IPA well, then I know that all the rest of the beers are good and that it's a quality brewery. We call it the IPA Index. <laughs> and move all the way to the IPA and this guy is called Sahti and it's the oldest form of beer and it's like a highly traditional thing in Finland and, and even nowadays all the grandmas in the cent central part of the Finland they are still making this one in, at home <laughs> Interesting The closest thing it tastes to is like a Belgian but it does have like a banana banana taste and there's not a lot of carbonation That's nice and we're finished. Where are we going next? Market hole. Cool. Guys, the waterfront in Helsinki is popping off right now. There are so many people here. Kind of like a little festival vibe. Friday and the sun's out and people want to go eat and get some vitamin D. This is the, the old market hall from 1888. We're going to come and try some Finnish cheese from Helsinki. It's very special because the cows also live in Helsinki. So let's go. This should be like foodie stop number one. try bread cheese with possibly the best berry in the world. It's called a cloud berry. You can only really get it in Lapland and it's absolutely delectable and also a little bit pricey so we are in for a treat right now. Bread cheese, not to be confused with head cheese. Interesting. Kind of like in France they do like the brie with like raspberry on it. Well here it's the bread cheese with cloud berry. We'll be going for the raw foods, the raw vegan. Have the cake, man. Fast forward two hours, we've showered, changed, and we're about to hop on a boat to Siri Salti Island. We're gonna go to a crayfish party. It's a late summer tradition where you basically have a party, drink some schnapps, and eat some crayfish. Eat lots of crayfish. They do it here in Finland and also in Sweden, but it's definitely like a celebration of summer. And as you can see, it's been an amazing day. It's a gorgeous evening, and we're gonna feast right now. Oh yeah, folk show. So let's go do it. We are meeting up with a local vlogger named Jonas, as well as some other cool people, and we're gonna go have a Dive good night. The tradition. Schnapps. Schnapps.
you might remember from a couple of days ago that we were at the Spears Museum in Stockholm and we learned about these drinking songs. So crayfish parties originated with the Swedish uh, nobility that were here when Finland was part of Sweden. So these are like drinking games. You have to actually take a shot, like it's like built into the song. Like it's like right. sing one verse, okay. then shot, then six more verses. This is about to get cray, 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 crazy. <laughs> so Alex, what do you have to say? Ladies and gents, hopefully you enjoyed that vlog. Uh, it's day one in Helsinki. We have a lot to cover in the next two days. We're going to be going to TubeCon, meeting a lot of you guys. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends and subscribe to Mac Brothers for more travel videos. In the meantime, remember, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you guys on the road. But we got a lot of crayfish to finish. Oh my god, oh. I got so much crayfish juice in my eyes. Alright, we're signing out. Peace. Mata! Yeah, some of these have really two drops party. Probably will be. Especially because this just happened. Oh, goodness. Oh, God. Out of the periscope. Oh!